What up, homies of the internet? This is Lugnuts Guapo coming at you from Maverick Harley Davidson, and this is what I'm riding today. Looks like it's just a plain old 2019 Rogue Light Special, and uh, you're in for a nice little surprise. So, uh, yeah, check this out. Basically, we did a dirty air suspension, center stand, the whole shebang. Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> that looks real good. That looks really, really good. Did some 12-inch uh, bars and uh, grips, floorboards. And as it sits, I think it looks pretty awesome. So, yeah. That's nice. That is very nice. Very, very nice. So, basically, uh, we did dirty air suspension. What does all of that include? Onboard compressor, onboard storage tank front uh, fork modification internal modification nothing external yeah and replacing the rear shocks perfect and some wiring yeah and we we also had to do a uh, internal antenna right yeah or, an antenna an antenna yeah yeah so there you have it so i'm excited this thing looks awesome sweet well thank you Yep, so <laughs> what do you think? I personally have uh, never ridden uh, as a, uh, any bike with air suspension or nor have I ever been in a car that has air suspension unless you count 18 wheelers, but I think that's that's completely different. Anywho, yeah, so this, uh, this video is basically about riding with air suspension. What is it like and uh, kind of the procedure of airing it out and putting air back in. So essentially as he as Tom was saying it has a tank tank I believe so one of these sides. So if you took the bags off on one side you'll have the compressor and the other uh, side you'll have the tank and I think I just said that backwards. The compressor is on this side left side and the tank is on the right side. Uh, your shocks are right there and uh, they replace cartridges and the front forks and man it just looks mean now the front of it I don't know if you're familiar with the, like the pitbull front end kits that you put a 180 front tire on it that's kind of what that makes me uh, think about that that looks mean that's a mean stance so <coughs> oh excuse me that's a, it's a good looking bike man 114 uh, Milwaukee 8 I was about to walk all the way around to get on it but hey it's flat on the ground so it doesn't matter what side you get on not that I care <laughs> but some people out there do all right so one of the things that uh, you need to know when you're on an air ride uh, a bike one with air ride is that if you have a center stand which we do right there you are not supposed to uh, put that kickstand, try to put that kickstand up when the bike is down because you will burn up the little motor. Um, and you just need to air it out and then put the kickstand in. The same, same thing if you put the bike down before you put that kickstand down, or center stand, sorry. You uh, and then try to you know, open it up once it's on the ground, then you'll do the exact same. So you need to be mindful of that. Uh, usually uh, you can either put switches up here like we did you can get them on you know right here on the bars we didn't do that because this particular set of bars has a little hole right here and here which is standard on road glides but uh, because these bars in particular that we ordered have those little holes you can't really do that because the switches are actually a lot narrower and you will see that so you have to keep that in mind as well if you're doing that yourself uh, you take these two bolts off and these little plates have a little uh, uh, rod that goes in that way it keeps it 
uh, stable right there. So, all right, let's get cracking. Uh, so let's air this thing up. So the way we set it up is left is front and right is rear. So, oh, before I do that, make sure that you're paying attention. Your feet are on the ground. You're not expecting to be like feet on the floorboards and then air up because you will fall over. So keep that in mind. So front comes up. Oh, you know what? I did forget something. So there's a release valve right here. And uh, you can either lower it on the, you can hear the compressor going because that valve was open. Uh, you have to, when you air it out, push the, uh, uh, close the valve. That way your tank can uh, fill up. So that was my mistake. And uh, so yeah, once that airs, uh, airs up, uh, I will get going. But you have down on these switches, well obviously lower it, you lower the front and back, or we have an extra switch, which is that valve right there. I don't know if you can see that. So that valve is what is, that switch is what opens and closes the valve. And uh, this little switch right here is for the kickstand or center stand. So if you push it down, you know, the, the uh, kickstand, center stand goes down, and if you go up, it goes up. So now that we close the valve and the tank is aired up, the compressor is off, uh, let's, let's do this. All right, and up. Now, I will tell you right off the gate, uh, one of the things that you have to keep in mind as well is the higher up it goes, the stiffer the suspension gets, the lower you go, the softer it gets. So obviously you don't want to go almost all the way down because then you just bottom out the suspension and you cause all kinds of damage. So right now it's like super stiff because I and you aired it up all the way. Let's lower it a little bit on the back and front. Let's see, check it out. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so those are the uh, instructions that were given to me. Now let's get uh, let's get cracking. Let's see how it is to ride with air suspension. And this thing feels gangster, industrial grade denim. Ooh, you know what? I already forgot something, and that is to put the center stand up. And there we go. Yeah, good thing I didn't take off. <laughs> good thing I didn't take off with uh, that center stand down. That would have been really bad. There's Tom. Whew. All right. Let's get cracking. All right. I'll be honest. This uh, feels a little taller than what you're used to. So seems to me I might be wrong that the clearance might be higher. Bit. I might be wrong on that. Honestly, this suspension is actually pretty dang soft. I mean, like, air it up just a tad bit, just to, you know, do give it a little, uh, <laughs> a little uh, spongy feel. And I could air it out a little more if I wanted to. But so far, I do feel like I'm higher off the ground for some reason. I don't know if that's just like a mental thing or the suspension actually pushes it up a little bit higher. I do know that the rear shocks are actually fully extended. I was told that they're a little shorter than the stock shocks. So, just going around corners very lightly, leaning it. Huh, you know, it's actually not bad. I actually kind of preferred it. I do like how it, it feels slightly softer. Again, it's because I aired out just the, just enough to to where that uh, that suspension wasn't fully extended. Let's see, make sure that there's no one coming my way. All right. You know what? And there's a good test coming up. There's some uh, railroad tracks up front coming up, and the same spot that I lost my GoPro last time. Oh nuts! Oh nuts! Oh nuts! GoPro down! GoPro down! And I was actually in the exact same lane too. So I know with denim paint that little suction cup does not work very well. So here we go. I'm going about 40, slow down a little bit. And <laughs> wow, actually wow! <laughs> That is actually a lot nicer. A lot nicer than I thought it would be. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I really like the suspension on this. If I had a touring bike, I think this would be a must for me. Uh, I mean, you're, at, you're you're adding more stuff to the bikes. Some people are like, ah, oh, that's crap, and to some people, it's like, man, it's it, it, it was worth it. For me, I think it would be worth it. I think this bike, as it sits, it just overall, it's a really good-looking bike when it's on the ground. Let's see, train tracks, not bad. I've, I've done that I've done that number with uh with just stock bikes and you feel it a little more now I don't need to go on on the performance of the bike because we already did a video on that but air ride so dirty air kit you can get like you, there's different packages from what I understand we basically got everything including like the switches that would go over here which we already mentioned we couldn't use because of the style of bars that we had and you know the little slots that were drilled and pre-drilled in there so we did these switches up here uh, overall you get the tank you can get the tank you can get the compressor the cartridges that go in the front forks with the lines that go from the front forks as well as the rear shocks the lines that go from the shocks onto the compressor and all that and the switches the center stand like all, all that you can buy separately if you want yeah i believe you do get a better deal if you just buy the whole shebang and honestly i think if you just go for for it all i think it's worth it now there's there are we've had customers in the past that actually played you know, bought the the kit they didn't buy the center stand for example and which kind of defeats the purpose in my mind because air suspension other, other than you know it just it's a comfortable ride as i'm finding out you uh you have to put it on the ground man that's just something that you need to do when you get a uh, air air ride and if you can't do that then why, why bother i think air ride is more about look than anything else and if you don't have that center stand it's it's actually pretty dangerous to just for the bike it's kind of dangerous to just have the kickstand out because you lower all the way to the ground as far as you want and then put the kickstand out you know how easy it is to tip these bikes over <laughs> i've seen uh i've seen it happen with a dyna dyna kickstand the guy put like a uh, burly shock some like really short burly shocks and it got parked and it tipped over actually on its own that's how upright it was so man you just need to get the center stand i, I would just do it one of those things that it, it does take getting used to as you saw earlier uh i almost took off with the kickstand or the center stand up i mean down golly and uh yeah, uh, that that could have been no bueno for the uh, center stand. I could have trashed it real easy. Now this bike is for sale. You can call us here at 972-245-1492 and ask about it. Take it out for a test ride and make it yours and get some wind therapy. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> This is a comfortable ride, man. It's a really, really comfortable ride, and jeez, it's uh, there's just there's something about the look. I've always liked road glides. I know that at the moment I can't afford one, but when I saw it parked, dropped, oh man, now it's just eating at me. It's like you need to make this yours. So yeah. <laughs> It rides great, man. I've heard people will say that it, it ruins the ride. I personally don't think it does. I actually think it, it improves it. And I, again, you can stiffen it up, you can soften it, you know, make it a little softer. Make it how you please. <laughs> See, I'm, I hit that front brake and that, that how it compresses is like really nice. It was really nice. Good grief, man. I know one of our uh, salespeople already wants to buy this thing. 
and I, I don't blame him <laughs> this thing is gangster oh man now one thing to keep in mind because I usually usually park him for the videos I usually park him right there but that's at an incline do not park these things at an incline unless you're like facing upwards towards the incline or downwards what's up Dane so anywho check us out on uh, Instagram at Mav Harley check us out on Facebook as well and YouTube which you are because you're uh, watching this video subscribe if you like the content let's see where to park this thing hmm <laughs> Yeah, subscribe if you like the content and uh, let us know what you think. Give us your opinions, like the video, all that kind of stuff. Dislike it, I don't care. Just give your honest review, your honest opinion, honest feedback. So, all right, he's gonna move that bike so I can park this thing. So yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, check us out on SoundCloud. Check us out on iTunes. Got some uh, some good people on the last few podcasts. People that work here, you get to know everybody that works here. It's a good time. So in the meantime, get on your Harley and get some wind therapy. Later. <laughs>